dog. Today is April 9th, 10 degrees out, and we're going riding with Jerry. It'll be my first and only ride of the year here. I'm not sure what we're really gonna find for snow. There's not much, but I think we'll be able to make a ride out of it. Jerry? <laughs> Steve's coming and we're gonna go get Dan. Oh yeah, sweet. Go mudding or what? Last weekend. <laughs> we're going now. <laughs> oh good. Just gonna go fill up. So I only got one battery for the GoPro here, but we're going on, we're going on like an Explorer mission almost, like we would in BC, except uh, no snow here. And it's not really an Explorer mission, but it's going to feel like it with how little snow there's going to be. So it's not really fair trying to keep up with trail sleds on the lake or on the trail, but here we are. Holy crap, the narrows are open a long way. I think we'll go kind of slow and pick up speed. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Riding with all the Jerry's today, we got my dad, Steve, and Dan. <laughs> so the snowmobile trail is just out behind this place, and this is actually my grandparents' cottage. <laughs> Why do I get caught on that? Okay. And now we're on uh, the snowmobile trail. Sorry, I don't have a permit on my sled for Ontario, but the trails are closed, so we're good to go. Um, we're definitely gonna run into some washouts up here though. They got a ton of rain here this week. And also I better mention, because I know how people uh, get with their, their trail systems, this is Crown Land, so it's uh, no need for a trail permit when the trails are closed. <laughs> Usually this is a bit... <laughs> then Ski Loop went on the wrong side of that tree. You just drive into it and keep going! There, I'm holding it down for you. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. Oh, oh God. <laughs> hey, I feel like this is flooded up here too. This is always a good spot. No, oh, no, it's not even. It will be right around this corner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> well, how are your feet? Good. Little wet. Little wet? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I'll go look and see if there's another way. Oh, there's ah, there's no ice out there. Oh, 
about the white sled? Yeah, I don't know about the trail sleds. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you gotta hit it with aggression. Well, I don't want to climb up that ski on you, though. <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? What? The drainage with 20 guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Low snow conditions. Beating through the bush. Well, we did say it was like driving to Ontario. You know, besides a couple washouts here and there, the trails don't really seem that bad overall. One of the issues in Ontario, though, trying to ride the trails is you're always going to come to a plowed road somewhere. So we're trying to go places today where we're not running into too much of that, but it's like completely unavoidable. So our first plowed road will be just up here. So this used to just be a snowmobile trail only, but as of this winter, they started plowing it. It used to be an awesome trail for late spring because it would hold its snow so long because it was, you know, just such a nice smooth trail compared to most of our trails are mud and rock around here. Oh my God. The battle lines aren't doing too hot. So as for kind of off trail riding around home here, there's not really much. It's all pretty thick bush. You'll get into some stuff like this that it's sort of rideable because it's been logged. But it's thicker than it looks. This trail through here is absolutely perfect. Trying to keep up with the trail sleds is kind of difficult though. Maybe I'll have to buy a trail sled for my one trail ride here. If you guys could buy one trail sled, what would it be? Oh, oh my god. Now we're back onto a classic loop we always used to do back in the day. And we always ride this late season. And we've been coming up here for a long time riding this before we even had our snowmobile licenses. <laughs> Breaking the law. Do our off trail riding here. Whoa! <laughs> Coverage is a little thin. Uh oh. <laughs> Gotta do wheelies in the flatlands. I'll go check out a spot we always go to up here. Tried to going for the park job challenge here, but just not quite enough snow. And there we go. Park job challenge in Ontario. First one ever for me. This is kind of thick. I see ice up there I wanted to get to, but Maybe I'll just go uh, meet up with the guys so they're not wondering where the hell I am. Hello in there! Not sure what uh, what my game plan was here. But ice! Oh yeah! Neat. That sounds very hollow. I hear snowmobiles. Are they coming looking for me? Where'd you go? I got a little sidetracked. You went dagger, didn't you? No, no, I was just playing up in some icicles over there. Oh yeah? Were you waiting at the intersection? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, you know you're uh, in Ontario on a trail when uh, this is at one of the intersections, eh? Yeah. No, drop it off on the trail and get in the Absolutely. Oh. This is another one of my favorite spots to come in the spring, but unfortunately we missed like the best opportunity here because the waters come up quite a bit. Usually this is all sand all the way out here. So that was four or five days ago now, out riding with lots of snow. There is not lots of snow now. It's been plus 20 every day, or like seven, plus 70s. And we wanna go out on the 700 today. The ice is not looking very good at the shoreline here at least. But I think we should be okay if we kind of stick to the North Shores. We're just gonna do a little once over on the 700 here. You know, we're not taking the most reliable sled ever, but these sleds were pretty good. So we're just gonna do a little once over, make sure everything's looking good. And then we're going for it. Definitely do not recommend doing this. See some belt fuzz down there, maybe we'll... That looks kind of fresh. Better have a look at the belt here. Yeah, I think we'll change that. That does not look very good. Okay, so issue number one, our belt. Our spare belt is also <laughs> no good, but I do have a belt off the 146. It's a lot longer. I'm just gonna put it on here for a minute and see how it works. It's not ideal, but I don't plan on stopping and I don't plan on doing any high speeds, just kind of cruise, so. I think the whole lake will hear me, so <laughs> if I sink, some will probably come out.
That's not bad. Let's open the hood, have a look at things, see how much water is in the clutch. Yep, we're golden. Probably not gonna go too much farther, probably just kinda head her back. It's just cool to come out here, April 14th, I think it is today. Be my latest ride on the lake in a long time, maybe ever. Also, thanks to the guy who gave us these skis for the summit here. He was waiting in the Boulder parking lot at the end of the day one day for me. He's like, here, I got some skis for you. I'm like, man, you're the best. It's cool to have guys that excited that you're riding these, these old sleds. I would like to do some actual water crossing on this sled, but not gonna screw around with that today while I'm by myself. fun <laughs> you know i wish i didn't have to do this by myself but at the same time sometimes you just have to learn to be independent uh i live in a super small town i got one good buddy that lives here but he had to work today so uh otherwise i wouldn't have been able to do this definitely won't recommend it solo and i wouldn't recommend going mountain riding solo either but uh there's some things you just gotta learn to do on your own you can still have fun snowmobiling on the lake yesterday today we're going for the boat uh it's a little thick in here but i think once we get out there we'll be able to do some ice breaking once we get our other boat i should have brought the motor oh good the plug is in <laughs> i should have brought the motor for this we got a little eight horse for it but i was thinking i was gonna push it across the ice and jump in but I didn't realize that the lake went up so much, I could probably just go around the edge. That'll do. See, this is where I should have brought the motor. Okay, we made it out of the lagoon. But we're already not looking so hot here. The ice is looking pretty thick. We just gotta get over to that island there. Why we store the boat over there? Uh, good question. So we can do this for fun. You know, I thought this would be easier by myself, but I'm starting to think I was wrong. Cause if I had someone on that side of the boat and I was on this side, then we can both push and jump in at the same time. All right, guys, put your bets in. You think I'm gonna be able to walk on the ice out here? I'm just gonna be falling through. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be falling through. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, nothing to it. I can't stand on that. I was snowmobiling out here yesterday. Not right here, but. So I really thought I'd be able to walk on the ice and just push behind the boat to get across, but it's not working out. This is gonna kill me getting across here. We've gone like 30 feet, a few hundred to go.
this last little bit sucks. I can't use my original method. And this is all I've found to work. Yeah. 40 feet. <laughs> that was way too much work. I made that really hard on myself. Wow, it's hot. Yeah, this is a lot easier than pushing that friggin' boat. <laughs> this ice is six inches thick and I can't break through it, but I could drive through this side, no problem. The small part of the lake, the big part of the lake. <laughs> Guess this is it. I wanted to get the boat over to where we were sliding yesterday, but it's like 2K from here, and I'm thinking we're not gonna make it that far. And we made it back to the parking lot. You can see the ice is pretty thick here, holding up the whole boat. We'll see how the prop looks. I think Jerry's actually coming out. He, he felt like he was missing out, I guess. Stay on plane, we're we're good. There's not till we get to the point over there. There's a dock though. Well, what we're telling me, I don't know. It is, but at least you can walk right here. <laughs> Where? We just gonna run right over that dock. This, this ice will be thin. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Look at the wave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got more weight in the boat, but we're still having troubles. <laughs> we're on the move again. There we go. That's good. <laughs> Okay. 
Safety Canada doesn't have a picture of us. Oh, this is getting out. Of, <laughs> this is getting out of hand. <laughs> Come and get you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paul. Keep, Paul.